Prince William and Princess Kate are looking to make a major change at Kensington Palace as the pair seek to appoint a new member of staff. The Prince and Princess of Wales are advertising for a correspondence specialist to help respond to the mountain of mail the couple receives. The permanent role involves responding to letters besides meeting representatives from charities, government and organizations. Mainly based at Kensington Palace, the full-time role will see the staff member travel to other royal households in the UK, presumably following the Prince and Princess of Wales. It also involves working with the private secretary's office, communications, visits and events teams as well as Buckingham Palace's correspondence team. The royal family receive and reply to 100,000 letters a year, according to Buckingham Palace. The person specification for the Kensington Palace job says applicants should have excellent communication skills and a flair and passion for letter writing. They will also have the ability to liaise with others both inside and outside the royal households, including very senior figures, the job ad says. William and Kate's team is also looking for someone who is enthusiastic, self-motivated and proactive with strong admin skills. The job ad continues, you should have the ability to manage multiple subject areas and large volumes of correspondence. You will have the ability to remain calm and perform under pressure to strict deadlines. A flexible and positive approach towards the work is also required, according to the person specification. It adds, you will be able to always maintain the highest levels confidentiality and work with extreme tact and discretion. The ad also says William and Kate's household policies are designed to attract, employ and reward the very best talent regardless of gender, race, ethnic or national origin, disability, religion, sexual orientation or age. But applicants will need to get in quick as the deadline for CVs and cover letters is this Friday, June 28, at 11.55 p.m.